what is up everybody i hope you're having a wonderful day i wanted to make a quick video about xenonauts 2 again this time i wanted to go over the bases the setup of your base you know the rooms and buildings in your main base and how you want to set those up and just some advice for those that don't know what to do you do start with this uh, you can demolish any of these, move them around. I wouldn't demolish anything right now. I would keep it a little simple. Do keep in mind this is early access. A lot of the stuff I'm saying may become irrelevant, might not work as well. Uh, this could change in a month, a year, who knows. So, you know, just understand that this video is made during the early access period. Now, there are a few rooms you don't have. You have three hangars. You have a storeroom. You have a generator. You have a radar array. You have two living quarters, and you have a lab, plus a workshop. The three you don't have are a training center, medical center, and missile battery. Now, these you're going to want to get, but there's probably an order you want to do it in. I would say the first thing you want to have is a training center. Put one of these uh, somewhere where it can at least get some adjacency bonuses. Maybe we'll put it up top. So we got a training center, okay. The reason why we want a training center is it allows you to train new recruits, train soldiers that aren't on duty, whatever, and just to give them experience so they can get, you know, stronger and better and all that good stuff. You definitely want it. Now, a lot of places, if you look on the right side of the screen, it'll say adjacency right here. If it can benefit from being next to the same structure, the same building, you will get a bonus. So storerooms, when you do build a second storeroom, put it next to the first one and get that adjacency bonus of extra 25 capacity if you have three of these that's 75 so this will get 25 and this will get 25 so this will give me an extra 50 just by combining these two so we'll get 200 plus 50 so it definitely helps out generator same thing extra power put your generators next to this generator Radar array doesn't get anything. Living quarters do. That's pretty good. Four for capacity. Laboratory gets extra research capacity. Workshop gets extra workshop capacity. Training capacity, none. And then extra damage on the missile battery. So do pay attention to adjacency bonuses when you're placing stuff down. I would also recommend getting a medical center right out the gate as well. That is going to be very helpful. We don't want to put it in these spots because we want to put our uh, storerooms here. Uh, we don't really want to put it right next to the lab. We might want to put another lab here or maybe a storeroom to connect to this storeroom and then do our labs down here. This setup isn't optimal. Uh, like I said, you can move stuff around, but the problem with that is the building will be demolished and then you'll replace it and that takes time. And that can be a hindrance possibly. I don't know how much of a hindrance it is or how much of a problem it is to demolish stuff day one and move it around. I really wish you could just put all your stuff in. Like when you start the game, this there's no template here and you just put your stuff. If there is and I'm missing it, uh, that's my own fault, but maybe the devs will change that in the future, who knows. So let's get a medical center and we're gonna put it right by the workshop. Well, actually right, mm, it's a tough call. We'll put it right here, cause then we can still adjacency bonus on this. So now we got a medical center, cause we might want another medical center to adjacency. Now the missile battery is good. You're gonna want it. It's gonna shoot down, it'll shoot down aircraft that are so close to your base within a proximity. It'll help try to shoot them down. So it can be useful, but I wouldn't build a day one. Uh, your funds are kind of limited, uh, especially once you start researching stuff and you're gonna need to uh, you know, buy the gear and all this stuff. You're gonna find funds going pretty quick. So do be aware of that. Don't burn too many funds putting buildings down and all that crazy stuff, but. That's gonna do it for this video. Just a real quick one. Just wanted to go over some things to look for when you're building your base, nothing too fancy. Hopefully this helps some people out. If you got any questions or comments about it, please drop them down below and I'd be glad to help you out. I do try to read and respond to every comment. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, later guys. Peace out, have a good one.